Hey there, it's Roland from Getting It Done North of 7. You ever do something stupid that it cost you money? A costly mistake? I'm about to share with you a costly mistake I just made. So this mistake cost me $77 Canadian. And what was it? Well, I'll tell you how it happened. I took the battery out of my boat because I was checking the wiring on my trailer because it wasn't working. So I was using the battery from my boat as a power source. So what happened was, got the wiring fixed on the trailer. Cool, done. So then I put the battery back in the boat. I was in a, I was happy the job was done quickly. The wiring on the trailer was not a big deal. It was an easy fix, took like 10 minutes. I was happy. My father was here, we we're talking and laughing and carrying on like we always do. And I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. I hooked the battery cables the opposite. I put the negative on the positive and I put the positive on the negative. And the only reason I did that was because my battery sits a certain way in the post, the battery posts are, were facing the back of the boat, the transom. And I know that the positive cable goes to the right and the negative goes to the left but when I put the battery in the boat I had turned it around I wasn't paying attention I know this stuff but I wasn't paying attention right so what happened was I burnt out a fuse and I thought that's all it was I put in a new fuse and it burned so I went and got new fuses bought five new fuses and I thought before we go any further and keep just burning fuses, there's got to be another problem somewhere, and I hope it isn't expensive. So I was watching a video, and this guy said how when he did the same thing, and he burnt out what which is called a diode. And this diode goes to the st starter solenoid. That little wire, I guess the diode's in here, all the whatever it does, that was $77 of tax. I think in the States, it's around $40 to $50. So this is a 2005 Mercury 40 horsepower four-stroke. And there is the part number. If this happens to you with this motor, there's the part number right there. I'll put it down in the description below so that if you need that part number, it'll be down there. Moral of the story is, pay attention to what you're doing when you're hooking up your battery on your car, your boat, your motorcycles, anything. Don't hook up your battery cables wrong. So as you can see, things are apart here. I'm going to hook this back up and I'm going to show you how I did it because in the video I watched, you couldn't see how exactly it was hooked up. I'm going to show you exactly how I hook it up. That way, if you watch it, you have this problem, you watch this video, you're going to see what I'm doing and you'll know where wires go. And Okay, here's a solenoid wire. I hooked up the two connections already. So these here, you just got to make sure you push them in as much as you can so they get a good solid connection. So there's one, two wires. One's going to the solenoid and this one here is going somewhere into the wiring harness. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze this in back where it was. And where it goes is right back in here, right there in behind let me move this thing out of the way in behind that clamp here it goes in there just fits in behind there and then i'll just push this back it's just to secure it in place so it's not flopping around you don't you know it doesn't get damaged or anything and then once that's in place i'll reconnect all the power uh wires here to the solenoid on here and all the ground down in here where are we all the ground wires down in here that includes this part of the diode wire it has to be grounded too down in there as well and I'll get in there and show you right in there so I'll do this work and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done all right although you can't see much just to recap there was four ground wires and they're all hooked up right here at the end of this pencil. That's my pointer. So there's four ground wires. And on the positive, up here on the starter solenoid, there was three wires. So they're all hooked up. And the diode wire goes in behind here, like I said. Let me move that out of the way again. 
in behind this clamp. I'll push that back. And like I mentioned, I replaced a 20 amp fuse. And then here in the middle is a spare one. I put a spare one back in there because you never know. You're out on the water. You may need that. Okay, I put the fuse cover back on here. And it clips on to a clip that's back here. It sits on this metal frame. So everything's put away tidy. Looks like new. And we're going to test it. Okay, now we're going to reconnect the battery. Don't forget to disconnect your battery when you're doing this kind of work. So I have to reconnect it. Okay, the battery's connected. Now we're going to test it again. And I did connect the battery properly this time. I even triple checked. <laughs> so first we're going to see if the trim works. That's a good sign. It's when you turn over the engine that really tells if we're going to blow a fuse, if the diode is no good, or there's another problem. So let's give it a try. I'm almost, I'm almost afraid to do this. Oh, that's a good sign. We'll try it one more time. There, problem fixed. If there was a problem, the motor wouldn't have kicked over like that. So again, if you connected your battery incorrectly and you blew a fuse, or it doesn't work, and then you realize you blew a fuse, it's more likely that it's not the fuse is the issue, it's this diode. And this could happen for any make of engine, not just the Mercury. And if you got a different year motor, on the diode itself, you'll see a tag with the part number on it right there. I learned an expensive mistake on this one, a $77 mistake, which could have been totally avoided if I would have just paid attention. It's one of those things where stuff just goes wrong. So I hope this video helps you if you had the same problem. Leave me a comment below if you have any questions. I'll try to answer it. Hit that like button and please subscribe. It really helps my channel and I really appreciate it. So again, it's Roland and getting it done north of 7. Take care.